Guys, powerful. So, welcome to uh, the Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask, another game in the series of games I'm doing for Christmas. And uh, I've never played this game in my life. Um, okay. And so I'm interest. I'm sort of interested, I guess, to play this. But uh, it'll be fun. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. I wouldn't say that's exactly what they call him. I think the yellow one's named Tattle. I don't know what the name of the other one is. Fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Oh, this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving him that accent. Link is not amused. Do a barrel roll. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna cut the grass. Why would I want to play a game where all I'm doing is chores? Isn't that what games are supposed to help us avoid doing? Bye, Link. Bruh, I'm tripping out, man. I think the fairies are getting to his head. Yes, it's a marvelous face. Oh, gee. Run. Oh, my gosh. Oh no, I'm a tree. I don't want to be a tree. Yo, if I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have any. I wouldn't have gotten any separated from my brother. But don't sit there, take a boy, do something. Why would I? Why would I help you? <laughs> he looks dead inside. Really? That was hard. Tot that was totally hard. So, um, there's stuff back there. Um, apologize, so so take me with you. <laughs> you want to know about that skull kid who just ran out, frat? Well, I just so happened to have an idea of where he might be going. I don't care if I'm a girl, I can have this voice if I want. <laughs> I'm a Deku scrub. I feel like there's something wrong here. Good scrub. Or wait, I am the scrub. Literally. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? It's the happy mask maskman. <laughs> happy sales maskman. Wait, no. Alright, sweet. What is this? Hi, what the heck? What did I ever do to you? Can I leave yet? I wanna leave. I don't wanna just walk around and do random things. It's not fun. 
was this green clothes white fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. You might be the most hideous looking thing in this game so far. <laughs> my father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. <laughs> Why does that look terrifying? It doesn't matter if the mask or the moon look terrifying. No, this is the scariest thing in the game. Now while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, so... You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in, in exchange, I will sell you a map cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yippee. Thanks. Hulu Limpa. You are, you are a sad, sad little man. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Those might be the derpiest looking fairies I've ever seen. Great. I like how the the uh, the amount of nothingness we can do. It's great. Am I finally gonna make some progress? Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Ah, it's terrifying. I ought to censor that. How dare you. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. I don't know if I'm okay with this. It's a trap. Bubble blast. Eat dirt. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Are you blind? Not, not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. Don't think you're getting it that easy. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Sure. All right, line up, guys. Oh gee. If you can all find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll take you the code. Are you ready? Oh gosh. Okay, I have all day to do this. Yeah, guys, isn't that good? Wait, what? Seriously? You're making me chase you as well? Come on, I'm Link. I Tingle, what are you doing up there? Yeah, 
get good. Weirdo. It's raining. How do I get up there? Wait a minute. Oh, he's up there. Heck nah, man. Jeez. These guys are all uh, crazy on sugar. Jeez. Yep, there sure is only one left. I love all the nothing we did today. What do you want? Hey there, little guy. Want you to pass on some rubies? No, it is. Even people have faith. Even if people don't have money. Even if people have money, don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Prank, baby! Yeah! Alright, look, there he is. <laughs> that was so hilarious. Was so pathetic how easy that was to catch him. Jeez, oh, Skull Kid yet again referenced. Two, one, three, five, four. Get good. Finally, I get to get somewhere in this game. Funny how it's been an hour. And all I've done is find some kids in a game of hide and seek. Oh, come on. 36 hours remaining. Time to smash all the pots I see. Because that's what Zelda games are really all about. Right, guys? Yo, hey, baby, I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, if you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. No, I don't want to dance till dawn. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back in time if, time if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? See, she knows twice in a row. She can move a half foot day forward through time. Was that pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like to any song. Written by you, by you better. <laughs> Written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. I would, but I don't have anything to play it on. Whoa! This is like an acid trip. Hi there. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> that that ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Sure, let's get into the telescope. Oh, gee. There he is. The big man himself. And that's not an over exaggeration. Well, did you find that troublemaker? 
You can zoom in with A. Oh boy. There's a skull kid. Oh wow. How rude. Oh, hi. Can we code? Oh. Oh yeah, I already went there. No, I wanna read the sign. I wanna read the sign, get out of the way, please. Let me read the sign. Oh my gosh. Please, get out. Can I read the sign, please? Oh, hey. Who's that? Right when I hit it, dawn of the final day. Midnight on the eve of the carnival. Great. What do you want? Great, that looked normal. Alright, well, it's been an hour, so I'm gonna be in the episode out here. I hope you guys enjoyed because time coming like a child, and if you have any recommendations, leave a comment below. It's powerful as hell. Signing off. Goodbye.